As fans eagerly await news, the question of whether there will be a fourth installment in the 365 days series on Netflix remains unanswered. While no official announcement has been made yet, the possibility of 365 days 4 is still a topic of speculation and hope among fans. The steamy saga of Laura and Massimo has captivated audiences worldwide despite receiving mixed reviews from critics. The trilogy, based on the book series by Blanka Lipinska, has proven to be a massive success for Netflix, making it one of the most popular adult-themed series on the platform. Given this popularity, it's not unreasonable to think that Netflix might consider continuing the story. After all, giving fans what they want has always been a winning strategy. The three movies released so far, 365 Days, 365 Days, this day and the next 365 days, have charted the tumultuous and passionate relationship between Laura and Massimo. The latest installment, the next 365 days, premiered in August 2022, leaving fans with a cliffhanger that begs for resolution. While the movies are based on Lipinska's book series, it's worth noting that the films have diverged significantly from their source material. Lipinska has not written a fourth book, which could imply an end to the story as originally envisioned. However, the deviations in the films suggest that there are numerous unexplored storylines that Netflix could potentially develop if they chose to continue the series independently of the book. If Netflix decides to move forward with a fourth movie, when might we expect to see it? The second and third films were shot back to back and released in quick succession in 2022. However, with no signs of a fourth movie being filmed in secret, fans might have to wait a bit longer. The gap between the first and second films was two years, suggesting that a similar timeline might apply here. This would mean that, at the earliest 365 days, four could premiere in 2025. The cast of the 365 days series has been a significant factor in its popularity. If a fourth movie were to happen, it would be hard to imagine it without Anna. Maria Siekluka as Laura and Michelle Morone as Massimo. Simone Susina, who plays Nacho, has also become a central character, particularly given the romantic tension between his character and Laura. Other likely returnees include Magdalena Lampasca as Laura's best friend Olga and Ota Saralice as Domenico, Olga's fiancé and Massimo's right-hand man. The return of Laura's parents played by Ewa Kasper Zeik and Darius Yu Jakubowski in cameo roles, is also possible. The ending of the next 365 days sets up multiple possibilities for a continuation. The final moments of the third film see Laura reuniting with Massimo on the beat. Despite knowing about her dalliance with Nacho, Massimo is surprisingly calm and introspective, hinting at a possible reconciliation. He reflects on their relationship quoting a book his father read to him, If you really love something, just let it go. If it comes back, it's yours forever. If it doesn't, it was never meant to be. Laura, in turn, tells Massimo that he'll be a wonderful father one day, leading to Massimo's poignant question, Are you back, baby girl? The film ends without her answer, leaving the door wide open for a fourth movie to explore her decision and the ramifications of her choice. If a fourth movie were to happen, it could pick up right where the third left off, revealing Laura's decision between Massimo and Nacho. This decision will undoubtedly lead to further relationship drama, which has been a staple of the series. Additionally, the fourth movie could explore the wedding of Olga and Domenico, which was hinted at but not fully explored in the third film. A wedding could serve as a perfect backdrop for new conflicts and resolutions, adding another layer of drama to the story. As of April 2024, there has been no confirmation from Netflix about 365 days 4. This lack of news means that any footage or trailers for a potential fourth installment are still a long way off. Fans will have to be patient and perhaps re-watch the trilogy to relive the steamy romance and intense drama of Laura and Massimo's journey. Despite its controversial reception, the 365 Days series has undeniably made a significant impact on Netflix's catalogue of films. Its bold approach to adult themes and explicit content has set it apart, creating a dedicated fan base that eagerly discusses and debates every plot, twist, and character decision. The series has sparked conversations about the portrayal of relationships, consent, and the blending of romance and eroticism in mainstream media. 
The series has become more than just a collection of movies. It's a cultural phenomenon. From social media discussions to fan theories and debates, 365 Days has generated a buzz that transcends the screen. The chemistry between the lead actors and the dramatic storytelling have made it a topic of interest even among those who criticize its narrative choices. For Netflix, the decision to continue the series would likely hinge on various factors, including viewership numbers, production costs, and the potential for new subscribers. Given the success of the trilogy, a fourth movie could be a lucrative opportunity. However, Netflix also has to consider the evolving landscape of streaming content and audience preferences. Towns of 365 days have high expectations for any potential continuation. They are invested in the characters' journeys and are eager to see how unresolved storylines and cliffhangers are addressed. The anticipation for 365 Days 4 is a testament to the series' ability to engage viewers and create a sense of connection with its audience. Looking back, the journey of Laura and Massimo has been filled with twists and turns. From their initial meeting and the controversial beginning of their relationship to the challenges they faced in subsequent films, their story has been anything but straightforward. Each movie has delved deeper into their psyches, revealing vulnerabilities, strengths, and the complexities of their love. The characters have evolved significantly over the course of the trilogy. Laura has grown from a captive to a more empowered individual, grappling with her desires and fears. Massimo, on the other hand, has shown layers of emotion beyond his dominant persona, especially in moments of vulnerability and loss. Nacho's introduction added another dynamic, challenging the established relationship and providing Laura with an alternative perspective on love and loyalty. If 365 Days 4 were to happen, it could explore new themes and deeper character development. The series has already touched upon themes of power, control, love, and redemption. A fourth installment could delve into these themes further, perhaps exploring the consequences of past actions, the pursuit of forgiveness, and the complexities of starting anew. Side characters like Olga and Domenico have provided comic relief and additional subplots that enrich the main narrative. Their potential wedding could serve as a focal point in the fourth movie, bringing all the characters together and setting the stage for new interactions and conflict. This subplot could also provide a contrast to Laura and Massimo's tumultuous relationship, highlighting different facets of love and commitment. Fans have speculated various theories about what could happen in a fourth movie. Some believe Laura might choose Nacho, leading to a rivalry with Massimo. Others think Laura and Massimo's relationship will endure, but with new challenges that test their bond. The potential for new antagonists, business rivalries, and family conflicts adds to the intrigue. In conclusion, while the future of 365 Days 4 remains uncertain, the potential for another installment is a tantalizing prospect for fans. The series has built a strong foundation of passionate storytelling, complex characters, and dramatic twists. Whether Netflix decides to continue the saga or not, the impact of 365 Days on its viewers is undeniable. As we wait for any official news, the speculation, discussions, and excitement among fans will undoubtedly keep the spirit of Laura and Massimo's story alive. For now, all we can do is stay tuned and hope that Netflix decides to give us more of the passionate and tumultuous world of 365 days.